Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Sunny School. If you have your Bible, turn to Luke chapter 6, verses 43 to 45. Got that? Luke 6, 43 to 45. But before we start, I have two pieces of fruit here. <clears throat> I want you to look at them. Would you want this one? This is a banana. Would you really like this one? Or would you rather have this one? Would you rather have this one that's sort of soft and gooey and yucky? Or would you rather have this one that is nice and firm? And when we go to the store to pick out fruit, or your mom or dad goes to the store to pick out fruit, they pick it up, see whether it's good, see whether it has any bruises on it. They check the color, make sure it's good, make sure it's nice and firm. Bad fruit, good fruit. What's in your life? What do you want in your life? Bad fruit or good fruit? Let's read this verse and we'll get a clue. Here it says, Luke chapter 6, verses 43 to 45. No good tree bears bad fruit. And that's true. Nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. Each tree is recognized by its own fruit. People do not pick figs from a thorn brush or grapes from briars. The good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart. And the evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For out of the overflow of his heart, his mouth speaks. In other words, what's in our heart, that is what we will speak. We are recognized by what is in our heart and what we say and what we do. We're going to look at this banana. We're going to cut it open. And if you're like me, I do not like soft bananas. See that? Yucky, gooey, black. Yes, just ucky. It is ucky. But then again, do we want to have life like that? That's yucky. Or would we rather have a nice, ripe banana like this? And that's nice and good and tasty and firm. There's the difference. Good fruit, bad fruit. We have to decide, what do we want? If we speak mean words or harsh words to people, they're going to think that we're mean and that we're ungodly. And that's what's in of our heart because that's what's coming out. And how we act, how we treat people, what we say, what we do. That's how people judge us. But they're watching us. They're not supposed to judge us, but people watch our actions and our deed and what's coming out of our heart. What's in there? What's coming out? Remember Cain? What was in his heart? Anger and revenge. If they see us and they hear us speak kind words and do good things, they, they'll think, okay, they are kind, and they are living a godly life. And you know what? This is what we want. We don't want fruit like this coming out of our heart, words coming out of our heart like this. We want it good, firm. And you know what the Bible tells us? He gives us a list of what the fruit of the Spirit is what we are to have inside of us and what we're to be speaking. He talks about it there, that whatever's in there, it's going to come out. And this is what he said. Can you imagine this? We have to have the fruit of the Spirit in our life. Ah, we got to have love. Hey, you know, it's, we can easily love somebody that's good to us. But when it comes to loving our enemies, that's different. Now we got to have joy. We got to have peace. No matter what we face, no matter what's going on all around us, we have to have peace. Oh, this one. This is a hard one. I have a hard time with this one. This is something I have to work on and something I have to pray about, and that's patience. How many have patience? And you know, sometimes when we're back in these lineups, I think, do I have to start in these lines to get into the store again? And then we have to have kindness. We have to be kind. And we have to have gentleness. We have to be very gentle. We 
don't have to be sissies, but we have to be gentle and have a kind and gentle heart. We have to have faithfulness and be faithful. We have to have goodness. And we have to have self-control. We have to be able to control our anger. We have to be able to control what we say. We have to be able to control what we do. Those are all fruits of the Spirit. Those are the fruits that should be in our life. What is coming out of your mouth? What's coming out of my mouth? Especially in this time when we can get so impatient and we're all living together in such close quarters. What's coming out of my mouth? What's coming out of yours? Is it good? Or is it bad and rotten? What's coming out of our mouth? What's coming out of our mouth? Now, what does your family say that's coming out of your heart and out of your mouth? What does my family say? Hey, what do your friends say about you and about the words and the deeds that you do? Good fruit, bad fruit. And Jesus is the only one that can help us to have those good fruits, the fruit of the Spirit in our life. And he will strengthen us and the Holy Spirit that was in us. He will give us the fruits of the Spirit in our life. And we have to ask God to say, hey, you know, help me. If you're in an area there, you find out, oh, I'm having a little bit of problem, like I do with patience, then we have to say, you got to help me. You got to help me have more patience. And so the decision is ours and allowing God in our life to do a work. And whether we have gooey, bad fruit or whether we have good fruit, the choice is ours. The decision is ours and allowing God to cleanse us and to have words coming from our mouth and from our heart, because whatever's in there is going to come out. So this coming week, I trust that you will allow the fruit of the Spirit to be active in your life. Love, joy, patience, gentleness, faithfulness, all of those need to be in existence in our life. And the Holy Spirit, He lives within us if you have Jesus in your heart. So practice the fruits of the Spirit and ask Jesus to help you this coming week. Have good fruit, good, good fruit. Something we all enjoy is the good fruit. Have a good week. God bless you. And remember, good fruit, bad fruit. See you next week.
Big